If I never open the door to the Northwest Boys and Girls Club, my son might not be achieving some of the good things that he's doing now. As a parent, I think that we all want our kids to achieve more than what we've done in life. And I'm no different, I want the same, but I want him to really, you know, shoot for the stars. Being a teen parent is not easy, you know, growing up in Hartford. You know, I am definitely concerned about my son because it is a rough neighborhood. I'm um, in different pockets where, you know, violence is really prevalent or, you know, just the opportunity to make bad decisions can happen. Being that I get home late and you know, have different meetings at various hours that keep me away, they've been able to be a strong foundation that he can grow from to help with his character and help him flourish in the different things that he wants to do within his life. And I like that, the simple fact that they stay open late for the teenagers during the week until eight or nine o'clock. And on Friday nights, they have different programs, you know, that the teens can go to. You need those type of services, you know, in the area when you work as hard as I do. As a parent, you have to find the resources that are gonna work for you and in, in your work life and your schedule and also work for your kids. I wouldn't be able to work full time as an attorney um, without the help of the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, what the services that they provide are invaluable. Marcus and Erica have been going to the Southwest Boys and Girls Club for over two years now. The services and, and the care that my boys are provided there is comparable to nothing else that uh, we've used before. Um, I have the peace of mind of knowing that when Eric comes off the school bus, that Carmen is there to meet him, um, to escort him inside the club. He's there safely until it's time for me to go pick him up at the end of my busy work day. For the boys, it's really wonderful that they can go to a place that is very diverse, that there's kids there from all different walks of life that they get to interact with, and they've made great friends over the years. I've been a land surveyor for 10 years, a job I love. If there were no Boys and Girls Club, I definitely think I'd have to change my job. I work sometimes long hours, and it's hard to get somebody to watch him. I mean, a babysitter is kind of expensive. Being a single dad, trying to rush home, prepare dinner, trying to get stuff ready for the next day, it, it helps both of us tremendously. My son's been attending the Boys and Girls Club for about six or seven years, and he absolutely loves it. He's very involved, really. He helps out, he volunteers if anything needs to be done. He's a very, very helpful kid. Most of the days I walk to come pick up my son, and after a long day's work, that's the only face I really want to see to hear how his day was. After talking to him, he just reminds me why I'm working so hard. I just want him to be a good kid, you know, make something of himself. The Boys and Girls Club is a great place for my daughter and they help the kids with their homework, their structure. She learns so much, like discipline, organizing. It's an environment that is good for my daughter. Alexandra is taking tap dancing and she loves it. It helps me a lot because without the Boys and Girls Club, I'll be staying home mom, trying to get a part-time job or trying to support my daughter, I don't know how because without a job, we will have a safe place for my daughter to be. My whole dream for my daughter, to graduate, have a future. Not to depend on the government, not to depend on nobody to support herself. I'm raising her by myself and I'm proud of that. <laughs>